Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a picture into an SVG. We're going to start by going to Safari and typing in remove.bg, which stands for remove background. Once we have that open, we're going to click on upload image. Then we're going to pick out which picture we want to remove the background to and wait while it removes the background. Once it's done removing the background, I screenshot it to save me time from having to download and then save it to my phone. I then go to my vector app and import my photo. I choose the photo with the background removed. Once it's loaded, I click on ink and start making adjustments. Plotter is another setting I like to use. It allows you to open up the picture from majority of those little specks you see there disappearing. So when you have your image how you want it, screenshot it and then go to your Cricut app. From there, you're going to want to open a new project and then click on upload and select photo from library. Then you want to click on the photo that you created in the vector app. Crop the image. Once it's cropped, you can start cleaning it up. You're going to want to clean up all the white spots. If you accidentally hit the black, don't worry. There's an undo button that'll easily fix it. When you're finished with that, you'll click next and next and then save. Click on your image, insert, and there you have it in design space. Once it's in design space, you can adjust the size and do some other things to it. Here I'm going to change the contour of it and just take out these little lines that are off to the side of her. Then I rotate her because that's the way I want her on my canvas. Then I insert a square and adjust the size to the size of my canvas, which I'm working with an 11 by 14. Then I'm going to change it to white and send it to the back. That way I can see where I want to place my image on the canvas. Once you have it where you want it on the canvas, you can take the square off of it and save. I'm going to be using one of these 11 by 14 canvases that I got um, in a pack of seven from Walmart for about $13. Usually you use the green standard grip mat. However, my blue mat is stickier, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Next, apply your vinyl. I'm going to be using heat transfer vinyl for my canvas, but permanent vinyl works too. When you're ready, click make it. If you're using heat transfer vinyl, you're gonna wanna mirror your image. Then you're gonna wanna place your design where you want it cut on your mat and click continue. If you're not connected to your machine, you'll do that now. Once your machine is connected, select the type of material you're gonna be using. You will wanna load your machine. And then it'll tell you when it's ready to cut. You push the cut button. As you can see, my Cricut Maker is cutting my picture out of my vinyl. And as it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and show you Cricut Heat Press. I use it on 160 degrees Celsius. It says 30 seconds, but I only use it for 15. Um, some other stuff I used is this Cricut mat. However, for this canvas, I will not be using it because I'm going to do a regular canvas instead of a reverse canvas. I will be using my parchment paper. Um, I reuse this over and over again unless I get like glitter or holographic vinyl that comes off onto it. At that point, I will throw it away and get a new piece. But other than that, save your parchment paper and reuse it. The machine will let you know it's done cutting when the arrows are flashing. Just push it and it'll release your mat. When peeling vinyl off my mats, I flip my mats over and peel it this way. That way it prevents it from curling. Next, I'm going to cut out my scraps. I cut out as much as I can because I love to see my scraps and I always use them. It's time to weed. I always start in a corner. And peel. So we're just going to weed all this. Mm -hmm. 
When you're completely finished weighting, you can place your design on your canvas how you would like to iron it on. Then you wanna lay a piece of parchment paper over your design and begin ironing. I flipped it and I'm just gonna iron it from the side. Okay, now we just remove the plastic and you'll have your finished piece. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more tips and tricks on the Cricut, subscribe below.